Aluva G Burn is a weight loss supplement that you may have heard of. And in this quick video, let's look at the research and the ingredients on the Aluva G Burn supplement and see what we can discover. Okay, so here are the ingredients in Aluva G Burn. And as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of ingredients here. So to make the ingredients list a bit more comprehensible, let's change the look of this a little bit. So here I think is a better arrangement of the ingredients. So the first thing I'd point out is that a serving of a Luva G Burn is three capsules. So if you were to take three capsules, you'd be getting five calories, 80 milligrams of caffeine. That's about the same as you'd get from maybe a cup of coffee. And then you'd be also getting 1,880 milligrams of this weight loss blend, which is composed of these five ingredients, Japanese matcha green tea, Garcinia Cambogia, Irvinga gabogenesis, also called African mango, raspberry ketones, and coffee bean extract. Now, Below that, you also see what they call a trace mineral blend. And this I found a bit confusing because this is a proprietary blend. And when you see proprietary blends, there should be a dosage next to it. Like here, weight loss blend, 1,880 milligrams. Digestive energy blend, 200 milligrams. But there's no dosage next to trace mineral blend. That I thought was a bit peculiar. And also below the trace mineral blend, I don't see any trace minerals. I see other things, apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, etc. And yeah, there are some minerals in these other things. However, when I see a trace mineral proprietary blend, I expect to see minerals. So I thought that was a bit confusing. Now, if we jump down to the digestive enzyme blend, we see amylase, protease, cellulase, and lipase. These are enzymes that break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And while I can Understand how in someone who may have digestion issues, like for instance, Crohn's disease or IBS or ulcerative colitis, perhaps maybe enzymes may help. However, in healthy people, I'm personally not convinced that they, that they add anything. So I wanna jump back to the weight loss blend because that's what the G-Burn supplement is mostly marketed for, burning fat, weight loss. And I'm gonna leave off the Japanese matcha green tea because personally, I'm not convinced that green tea plays a significant role in weight loss. It may or may not. I personally, based on the research I've seen, remain unconvinced. But let's look at the other ingredients and see what we can discover about. So if we look at Garcinia Cambogia, and I wonder if maybe this is where the G in G burn comes from. G is, I'm wondering, Garcinia Cambogia. Regardless, here we have an investigation where 60 people were given either a placebo or 4.6 grams of Garcinia Cambogia, along with a 2000 calorie day diet for two months. These researchers found that taking Garcinia Cambogia supplements, those individuals lost about 5.4% of their body weight, which was significantly more than those who were taking a placebo. Now, that's good, but then we have a study like this showing just the opposite. Garcinia Cambogia does not work. And that appears to be the lay of the land when it comes to Garcinia Cambogia weight loss research. Here is a summary of studies that I put together between 1998 and 2011. And as you can see, pretty much the same amount of studies that show Garcinia Cambogia works, the same amount of research appears to show it doesn't work. That to me says, I think we need better research to know for sure if Garcinia Cambogia really is effective for weight loss in humans. And then we have reports of Garcinia Cambogia being linked to possibly liver failure. According to the Liver Tox website, about a dozen cases of liver failure have been possibly linked to Garcinia Cambogia dietary supplements. Now, I would agree that a dozen or so cases is not much compared to the millions of people who've probably taken Garcinia Cambogia over the years. However, liver failure is significant. And so based on that, I would say if you have liver problems, you definitely want to talk to your doctor before taking any Garcinia Cambogia supplements. So what about Irvinga gabogenesis, which is better known in some circles as African mango. Well, here we have a study where 300 milligrams of African mango caused significantly more weight loss and burn more fat compared to those who took a placebo. 
You will also notice in this study that these researchers are specifically highlighting an extract of Ervinga gabogenesis called IgoB131. That specific extract I see showing up in several African mango dietary supplements. So if you go looking for this, you're probably going to see IgoB0131 on some supplement facts labels. Like many weight loss supplement ingredients, things are not always rosy. Here we see a review of previous Irvinga gabogenesis studies where the researchers essentially said the research looks good, but many of the studies appear to have problems with the way they were conducted, so we need better research to know if Irvinga really works. What about raspberry ketones? So the first thing I would point out is that raspberry ketones are the molecules in raspberries that help them smell like raspberries. Raspberry ketones are not the same thing as ketones that you would see in a ketogenic supplement. Raspberry ketones do not cause ketosis. Now, having said that, there is some research that raspberry ketones may reduce food intake in mice, but what about people? Honestly, I cannot find any research on humans and raspberry ketones, and I find that very disappointing. So that appears to be the state of the research for now. However, on the plus side, I would point you to my other video on raspberry ketones perhaps helping regrow hair. And you may be surprised by the before and after pictures. I will link to that video in the description so you can see it. Moving on to green coffee extract. So the first thing I would say is, is that the Aluva company doesn't say which extract of coffee they're using. However, if it is chlorogenic acid, well then there is some evidence that chlorogenic acid may be effective for weight loss in some people who are overweight. However, having looked at the research, I personally would like to see a few more studies of chlorogenic acid and weight loss before I could draw definitive conclusions. Now, the Aluva company makes another supplement called the Aluva Ignite, which is said to work synergistically with the Aluva G Burn supplement. I, however, could not find any research showing that the Ignite Energy supplement and the Aluva G Burn supplement combined work better than either one by themselves. But I wanted to give you at least this moment to take a look at both of the ingredients in these supplements side by side. So, in the Ignite Energy Supplement, a serving is one stick. It's a, this is a powdered supplement. You put it in a liquid and you stir it up and you drink it. So in one stick, you're getting 15 calories. That's not much. Not a lot of carbohydrates here. You've got several vitamins and minerals, which is fine. But remember, this is the Ignite Energy Supplement. So that tells us that the energy blend, this energy nootropic blend, is probably where the secret sauce lies. And as we can see, these are the ingredients in the proprietary blend. All these ingredients add up to 569 milligrams. And the first ingredient you see is going to be the most abundant. So here we see green coffee bean extract. And because they're listing caffeine in parentheses, that makes me wonder if caffeine is the extract being used in the energy supplement. How much caffeine is in the Aluva Ignite Energy Supplement? I'm not sure, but because this is listed first, it makes me wonder if it's quite a lot. Then we have other ingredients such as L-theanine, glutathione, that's an antioxidant, rosacea, rosea, ashwagandha, turmeric, PQQ, and huperzine A. They're called, this is the tree they're using. It's huperzea serrata, turmeric anti-inflammatory compound. Ashwagandha can help people sleep a little bit better. I have a video on that. I'll link to that also in the description so you could check that out. L-theanine has some anti-stress calming effects in the body. I would call out for honorable mention PQQ, which is a substance, it's a dietary supplement, which is sometimes touted to improve the health of our mitochondria. The mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells. They make energy, and so it makes sense that something like PQQ might be in an energy supplement. Okay, that makes some sense. And then Hooperzea serrata, I tend to call it by its more common name, Hooperzine A. Hooperzine A is a substance found in the plant, and Hooperzine A has been studied to improve memory in people with dementia. So 
it kind of makes a little bit of sense why this ingredient would be in a nootropic blend. This is the energy and nootropic blend. Nootropic being the fancy name for something that improves memory and cognitive ability, helps you think better. So that actually makes some sense. And again, we're down here at the end, at, at the bottom of this list, we have the optimal absorption blend. Again, I'm, I'm assuming the, these enzymes are supposed to help us absorb carbohydrates, fats, and proteins better. Again, if maybe they do in people who are lacking these enzymes, perhaps. And then we also see black pepper down here. Black pepper increases the absorption of other things. That's why if you take dietary supplements, you may see black pepper listed in the ingredients. For instance, black pepper is one of the ways that you increase the absorption of turmeric. So does all this mean that Iluva G-Burn supplements work? Well, I've heard from at least one person who reported successful moderate weight loss with this supplement, but as with all weight loss supplements, I also do think results will vary regardless. I hope this Aluva review helped you better understand this supplement a little bit better. If you have tried Aluva G-Burn supplements or the Ignite supplement, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Until next time, I'm Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.